some Nassau counties are calling for the county executive to step up and save Long Island bus. Speaking at the Rosa Parks Transit Center in Hempstead, Nassau, legislator Kevin Abrams, along with other legislators and community activists, said that threatened cuts by the MTA would be devastating to the thousands of people who rely on Long Island bus to get to work, school, and doctor's appointments. MTA officials have threatened the cuts if Nassau County doesn't pay nearly $25 million more a year for bus service. Currently, the county pays $9 million a year. Abrams says he knows that Nassau has a deficit, but he and the others are hoping the county can reach some sort of agreement with the MTA to increase its payment to the MTA by about $5 million a year to stop the cuts. It would be the death of Nassau County. It would be a lot of jobs lost. We're trying to keep jobs and create jobs. People won't be able to get to work. But from our standpoint, we need to prioritize. This is more important than maybe some other things that are being funded in the county. And we need to make sure we're shifting dollars toward, and we're talking about $5 million, be shifted towards Long Island here. Abrams says the could go into effect in the next couple of months, urging bus riders to attend an MTA public hearing on Long Island bus scheduled for March 23rd at Hofstra University.